What are you doing? She's squatting <laughs> and chewing on a tag. Hmm, numb. Okay, Scarlett and I are hanging out in her room making big messes, and this is a good time for us to do a requested video for how we organize her changing station with cloth diapers. I'm gonna try and make this a quicken. So, let's just jump right into the meat of the matter. Wait, that's not the right phrase, is it? Is that a phrase? The meat of the matter, the heart of the matter, whatever. Let's go to, if this were MTV Cribs, I'd say, let's go to where the magic happens. Oh. Um, yeah, where we change her butt, <laughs> sorry. Uh, there's going to be bad lighting in here, so I'm going to be avoiding my own shadow. Or maybe I'll make shadow puppets. No, Marie, a little too silly this evening. These are lap pads. Love these. They're water-resistant pads. Put them under newborn baby bottom, and when they have air-induced accidents, shall we say, then it just goes onto the lap pad. You put this little thing in the wash rather than having to change your entire changing pad. I should totally have had this in my... Um, newborn must-haves video which I will link below if you are interested in those they are a series of three so um, I'll link that but I should have had these because this is Ryan's favorite newborn product in fact Scarlett doesn't even need these anymore she stopped having those kind of leaks and spritzes at about three months but he still puts one down religiously whenever we change you know clean the area okay so on the left and the right we have cloth diapers I'm left-handed, so I like having them over here, and I don't know, Ryan changes them the same way I do. This is enough for us to use until a laundry day, and I do her diaper laundry every other day. So let's start with this side since there's not much here. We've got cloth diapers in photo boxes. I talked about how um, photo boxes are sturdy and, you know, affordable and a good little thing to use when you're looking for bins for a nursery in my cheap and easy nursery tips and tricks or whatever I called that one. I don't remember, but it's linked below too. Back here we have wipes. I use disposable wipes. So cloth diapers with disposable wipes on this side, more cloth diapers. And then back here, these are liners for cloth diapers. It kind of looks like toilet paper, but it has more of a fabric cottony feel, a little bit thicker. Um, we've got a Sophie for chewing on. In my book recommendations, I talked about having a fabric book at the changing table because it's a little bit of every day that you know they have a book in their hands and are playing with a book, getting used to turning pages and growing their fascination with books. I also have some other toys to hand her. Then I have some diaper ointments. I know that these are a no-no for cloth diapers. These were given to us when um, we had baby showers and we only use them if she's in a disposable, which we do on occasion. And then I've got some like baby lotions and butters and massagey stuff here. This is like her baby booty spa section. What are you doing, kiddo? Okay, so also I have burp cloths kind of stashed on the side here. Since the door to her room is right here, I can get at these really fast and easy if there's ever an accident at any point in the house that I need a burp cloth for, I can run and grab one. Underneath piggy butt is washcloths. And then in the center part here, going down, we have more diapers. I will do a review on the different types of diaper brands that we use. These are all fitted fuzzy buns and these are ones that she is not in yet. So mediums and larges are back there. She's still in smalls. More lap pads. These are disposable diapers. We were gifted a bunch of disposables up to size three and we use them every now and then. I am a huge fan of the Up and Up brand from Target. Every baby booty is different. They're like snowflakes. There's my baby booty but they're all very different and unique and individual. <laughs> so what I'm getting there is that not everybody likes the same diapers. They don't all work for each kid. I really like these. They are a bit papery feeling, but they're not soggy like Pampers or Huggies. Yes, I'm talking about your butt. You want that? Okay, I'll get another one. And um, they, they hold in all leaks really well. Plus they're like $3 cheaper per pack of 36. And you get a coupon for a dollar off almost every time you buy them. So I'm a big fan of those. We also have um, some swim diapers back there that we didn't use. And I need to figure out how to donate those or something because she's going to grow out of them. These are not diaper changing related. These are bean bags for over abused <laughs> nursing boobs. <laughs> for um, you, you know, warm them up and then you can help your, your tatas when they are tender. And these, this is a shoe box. Um, I just have the lid under the shoe box to help reinforce it. And it's got more inserts for cloth diapers in it. So really that is my cloth diaper stash. What I do is after we change baby, 
The wipes go into her diaper genie that we still use, and we use it with our um, disposables every now and then. And any, hey there, chitlins. Careful. You got fingers. I'll be right back. Okay, she's better. So after I change her bottom, um, if it's a wet or dirty diaper, we change her. I put her in her crib or I put her down to play. She follows me and I take this into the bathroom. I will do a review on how I use cloth diapers as well as which brands I like and all of that stuff in another video. Um, above the changing station, cheesy, cheesy, cheesy picture. We just got those for free because they were for family for Mother's Day. That's a picture of me when I was a baby. My mom just came across it, so we stashed it there. Beautiful baby when um, I had her 3D ultrasound, and I have a picture of her sleeping just like that and want to put it in there so we can sort of have the comparison in tummy, out of tummy. That's her hospital picture, and these were some things that my grandmother gave me before she passed away. Up here, we could have a mobile there. The hook was already there. Um, we just hung that because it's one more thing that we can use to entertain her if she has to be here for an extended amount of time. And then this is Ryan's big trick when changing diapers. He pushes this guy and sings along to the songs, making up his own lyrics, and she giggles and giggles. It's like their little bonding time. So I'll end with that guy going, and you can just envision Ryan making up goofy doofy rap lyrics and the Beeble giggling. Ta da! <laughs> okay, so that is my changing station. Um, if you guys are interested in how we do clothes, I'll give you the Cliff's Notes. Pajamas, um, pants, onesies, t-shirts, long sleeve shirts. This is one piece outfits like overalls, jumpers, rompers. This is things that she's just about to grow into that she doesn't fit into yet. Same with this, but this is like the any second now she's going to fit. And we're on laundry day, so there's not much in here, but I do roll up her pajamas that she fits into now, and I have a couple folded in the back that she's almost ready to fit into. I fold um, them longly, longly? Goodness, you guys, I really do need like a word a day calendar. Somebody needs to write me a prescription for words because I don't understand how to use the English language. Yeah, I'm pretty proud of myself for making it through this with only saying one weird word. Okay, that's all. Goodbye. Say goodbye, baby. Hey, hey you, hey you. <laughs> hey you, crawling girl. Say goodbye. Scarlet. We're being ignored. Scarlet baby. Hi. Hi. Can you say bye-bye? Bye-bye. Wave. Bye-bye. Can you wave at mama? Bye-bye. Give me a wave. Not just goony faces. No, I'm going to come here. She says, don't go bye-bye, mama. <laughs> <laughs> That's as good as it gets, I